My name is Marlon and in this video I will show you how to make a rain effect in Photoshop. Once you have the image you would like to apply the effect to, the first step is to create a new layer. Click layer, select new, then click layer. Name the layer rain. Then click OK. We now need to fill the new layer with the color black. Click edit, then click fill. Change the contents to black. Make sure the mode is set to normal and change the opacity to 100%. Once completed, click OK. Now we need to add some noise. Click filter, select noise, then click add noise. Change the amount to 400%. If you are working with a smaller image, you will need to use a smaller percentage. Under Distribution, select Gaussian Blur. Check Monochromatic, then click OK. Now we are going to increase the size of the noise spots. Click Edit. Select Transform. Select Scale. Change the horizontal scale to 400%. Click the link icon to maintain the aspect ratio. Then click the check icon to apply the settings. Change the blend mode of the rain layer to screen. Next we are going to create the rain droplets. But before we do that, we are going to convert the rain layer to a smart object. This will allow you to go back and adjust the settings if needed. Right click on the rain layer and click convert to smart object. Now we can start defining the raindrops. Click image. Select adjustments. Click Levels. Move the black slider over to the right. This will make the raindrops smaller and you will be able to see the image behind the raindrops. Then click OK. Now we are going to add motion to the raindrops. Click Filter. Select Blur. Then click Motion Blur. I am going to enter minus 60 degrees from my angle to reflect the direction the lady is holding the umbrella. Then increase the distance. That gives you isolated streaks. Do not increase the distance too much because you will get solid lines across the image. Then click OK. One more step and we are done. Click Image. Select Adjustments. Click Levels. Now move the black and white sliders to adjust the appearance of the rain. The black slider reduces the appearance of the rain and the white slider increases the contrast of the rain. So there you go. That is how to make a rain effect in Photoshop. If you found this information helpful, please like the video. And if you are new to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. I upload Photoshop tutorials every week. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.